For question number 155, the correct option is option number two. And there's a shortcut for this solution. Let's see that first in step number one. Since we're talking about a solid sphere rotating freely in free space, free rotation in free space tells us there is no external torque acting on the system that is the sphere. And we have this formula that external torque acting on a system, let me call that tau external, is given by rate of change in angular momentum of the system with time. In the expression, tau external is the external torque applied on the system, L is the angular momentum vector, T is time, so dl dt is the rate of change in angular momentum with time. I'm using here scalar impression for the simple case of rotation about a fixed axis. Now, if it's the case of free rotation in free space, it means that the external torque acting on the sphere is equal to zero. And it implies the rate of change in angular momentum with time, that must be equal to zero. And if the change rate of change is zero, it means that angular momentum L, that remains constant. And you already have got our answer. That is option number two is the correct option, which says that angular momentum of the sphere remains constant. That's the end of this question. However, for the sake of completeness, and for the benefit of students, let us investigate the other options also, which are telling that angular velocity, rotational kinetic energy, and moment of inertia may remain constant. Now, are they constant? Well, angular momentum L is given by the formula also I into omega, where I, let me write it here, for rotation about an axis passing through the center, of mass, I can call it ICM, moment of inertia about center of mass into omega, that is angular velocity. Now, for a solid sphere, moment of inertia about center of mass is given by 2 by 5 m r square, m being the mass, r being the radius. Now, in the question, they're telling, for the sphere, mass remains same, radius is increased. So, in that case, as R is increased, keeping the mass constant, moment of inertia about center of mass must increase. But then again, angular momentum is ICM into omega, while A is the constant already shown. This means that if moment of inertia ICM has gone up, omega must have gone down to keep this L as a constant. And then again, Rotational kinetic energy Kr is given by the formula half into ICM into omega square. You can write this as ICM into omega whole square divided by twice ICM. The quantity inside round brackets is nothing but angular momentum that is L. So L square divided by twice ICM. So it shows that if ICM, moment of inertia, has gone up, L remaining constant, rotational kinetic energy also must have gone down. So, let's see what we have got for the given change in the radius of the sphere. Moment of inertia goes up, angular velocity goes down, rotational kinetic energy, that goes down. They all change, but there is no change in angular momentum. And that was option number two. And that's comprehensive solution of this question.